Hello and welcome back here friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we killed the Necromancer and we were moving up to the graveyard where we found out that there are not only zombies, but of course, um, also some, um, what's it called, meadows, I think, not sure, and we don't have any spell left to kill them. Also, we have Sila at home, who has the magical weapon. You can only hit them with magical weapons, so we could give uh, Philomucus magic fangs, and we could give myself the, um, the magical help art, like this guy, this thing, the marching terror. These are only magical weapons. We probably could buy some magical weapons. Hmm. Not sure. Cold iron repair. Masterwork dagger, masterwork dagger. Yeah, he has spells. I mean, she can do this. And I don't think that they have a lot of hit points. She doesn't even hit. I mean, also, <clears throat> the magic missiles that could do damage on them are gone. The frost, all is gone. And this one doesn't mean that it will have an effect on him because there's also effects that do like confusion damage and he is immune to confusion. She's out of spells Down and he has me. just longbow. Not even masterwork. Uh, I mean he has the um Oh no, perfect point blank shot, deadly aim. This uh, feet before you make an attack roll. Ah, oh. yeah, he doesn't make damage with this bow, it's not possible. We have only you, and with the magic fang, the pig that can make damage. That's not enough. I will not fight this fight. Okay. Um, let's go down. No. Um, let's go down I'll again. Go uh, and try to find this priest that ran away from the Inquisitor. Uh, where are we? Ah, map. Try to... Wait. Uh... There is the graveyard. We need to go down again. And in this direction, I think. So, wait. Um... The map is a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, you can get out, but where is the okay. We came in from here, didn't we? Don't know now. No, we did come in from here, went up built a wall here, so we have to go like down there or down there. Ah, there was the necromancer. Ah, oh, I know where I am now. This is terrible. Yeah, and 
go down. We came up here. Yep. That was the predator guy. Where are you going? No, come back. Stupid idiot. Come here, please. Come here. Put, 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 put. Go there. Why, why can't you go there? Didn't I come from here? I'm pretty sure about that. Ah, because we had to do this athletics check. Okay, let's try it. The mongrel did it. Yep. This is the reason why we take them with us. <clears throat> so we could go the other way around as well, but I don't want to because there is this stupid graveyard with the shadows and I don't want to fight the shadows. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah. We... <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to touch that, but yeah. It says that I can touch it, so let's do it. Okay, this is one of the uh, things we also had in Pathfinder. Um, some encounters are not uh, done by talk or by fight, but they are done by story. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. The demon invasion transformed all of Canabras into one great battlefield. Nowhere in the city suffered as much. Nowhere in the city suffered as much as this square. This place saw a clash of titan demon lord Descari leading his hordes from the Abyss and the dragon Terendalev, the mightiest of the defenders and one of the first all. The scene of destruction leaves no doubt as to the battle's outcome. The scout could recreate the course of the battle moment by moment simply by looking at the ruins. Yeah, this is like in um, Lord of the Rings when uh, Aragorn followed the Footsteps of um, Mary and Pippin. From the chimneys torn down by powerful wings in a sharp dive to the bloody tracks left behind when the demon dragged away the noble reptile's broken body. But it is no hypothetical scout gazing upon the ruins, it is Slatiba. And he is not alone. The shadow of a strange, barely perceptible presence lingers over his, his plate. Like a gaze untethered from any observer, this mysterious force, unknown to mortal kind, silently assesses judges and seeks a better way. In an instant, Slatibar's past is vested with this power and looks at the world with its eye. Past, present, and future stand before him as a unified whole, an unmoving, multifaceted crystal that would be beautiful were it not for the fractures, blemishes, and marring it. Splendor. What past does he see? Yeah, well, let's look at the past first. In the past exists the one who wielded his gaze in his in life. Although the one and life are in a in aposite terms, what's in aposite terms? Opposing terms? Or aeons, the natural embodiment of cosmic power. Beyond passion, beyond mercy, beyond reason, the faceless caretakers of reality toil without end, silently struggling to preserve the tenuous balance upon which all existence Yeah. That's me. Uh, the supernatural embodiments of cosmic balance, rather than who or what, a better word, 
for these entities is how this Aeon appeared from outside this world, from the great beyond, to put an end to the mingling of the planes and destroy the world wound. The chasm disrupting the order of the multiverse. Alas, the visitor from beyond proved too weak for the battle. They came to fight. They even failed to finish casting the spell that would have sent the Skari back to the abyss. With one swing of his scythe, the demon lord cut the Aeon down. Interesting. What present does he see? Ruins, blood, corpses, none of this perturbs the Aeon's dispassionate gaze. The living are alive, the dead will be judged by Pharaoh. All is as it should be. But the demons circling in the sky or prowling through the streets create the jarring juxtaposition like splashes of blood red ink on a restrained pencil. They should not be here. The world of mortals is for mortals. The demon's place is in the demon's world. How sublime the world would be if everything in it knew its place. Even the demons aren't as abhorrent as the sharp-edged, unassuming crystal languishing in the dirt among the bricks and smashed cobblestone. No mortal. Hey, we got a, an item. A purple stone knife. Sounds interesting. No mortal would notice it, but to the Aeon's eyes, its mere existence is an outrage against universal laws. If the Aeon still existed, they would not stop until the crystal was unmade. But the Aeon is gone, and only their gaze remains. Stratipast Fast picks the crystal up out of the dirt and stows it in his pocket. He is mortal, which means he has the power to decide what to do with it. We've got a purple stone knife, yay! Probably it's magical, and we can use it to kill shadows with it. <laughs> what future does he see? Let's see what's the future. Good and evil, chaos and order, everything is in its lawful place. No. Not lawful, in its true place, <laughs> in the multiverse, and is no longer trespassing where it does not belong. Nothing is disrupting the smooth and steady current of the river of souls, from life into death and back to life again. Reality, rid of its flaws, is now perfect, and the aeons withdraw to eternally admire its beauty, which will never be threatened again, of course. So this is the um, the neutral path. Um, I I heard that there are different paths, and there is one neutral path, which is the Aeon path. There is probably another neutral path as well. There are I, I think six or eight paths that you can choose uh, that will grant you a lot of power later on. And as I'm playing the true neutral, this is my path. I don't want the angelic and the demonic because we're not good and we're not bad. We're not lawful. We're not chaotic. Yeah, after allowing the hero to view the world through their eyes. So we will... Let, let's let's always take the, the possibility to take this um, Aeon Mythic path. If we find another neutral path that sounds nice to us we can take this one as well i'm not sure how you choose your path later on um blah 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 used up its last vestiges of energy now they are ready to disperse into nothingness unless someone decides to preserve the aeon within themselves will the hero take on this power so that he may again look at the world through another's eyes or will he allow it to vanish? Yeah, of course, we, we try to retain the Aeon's power within yourself. The spirit of the Aeon wells out of sight, deep in Slatibar's past soul. Like a pair of magical spectacles stowed away until the moment when Hero once again needs to look at the 
world through another. I think you can choose only of those that you chose before in some story element, but I, I really don't know. Okay, so it was good to to touch this this strange thing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Is there something else? No. Nope. <sighs> I'm a bit hesitant. Because there are some fighter. What's that? Ooh, that's mad. I don't know if this bolt can shoot it to deal 50 points of damage that can be ignored or reduced. This bolt cannot miss. Okay, let's move back. Let's see what this does. This sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. It's probably something here, yeah. What does this do? Probably is for for uh, where can we put it? Ah, we can put it on the belt. Okay, I'm not sure if I should give it to land. Probably. On the other hand, I'm 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 not sure if this will happen because as we told Lan that we want to get rid of him, he will probably leave us when we are done with Kenabra. So, yeah, let's give it to him, but don't forget to take it away from him later on. Usable item. Yeah, it can only be used also wood, so probably. Probably give it to him. Let's save the game before we here. Okay. There is a dredge. We can only uh, kill him with good or cold iron things. There's the fighter. This is also only a level one fighter. I am prepared. Kill you. Kill Drat. Mulchif. Move here. You're a good person. I like you. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this thing. Eek. No, not possible. Oh, I thought so. A lot of things, but it's only a level one cleric. And the level 2 cleric. And the dredges are not too hard. This is also only a level 2 dredge. So. Hmm. Oh. As we're good in ranged combat. <laughs> Cause fear? Really? Ah, reduced to zero points. Okay, Nenyo. Kill like. You're irrelevant. 
Did we hit him? Yay, we hit him! Baphomet cultist, oh god. Pooh. He only ra rolled an 18. When he could have. Yeah, you don't have any spells left, do you, Amber? <laughs> we should go back and sleep after the fight. Uh, we have some scrolls. Protection from evil. Put it on the pig, probably. <sighs> well, probably not. Amelia, this is not funny. Okay, then. Well, this Thank you. Cover me, all right? Ah, oh, yes. No, not the peak. Are you stupid? He's the only one uh, able to block. Ah, oh, pig. Stupid pig. Can we just say you die? Thank you. Shield of Faith. Ah, <laughs> thanks. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's let's pull the protection from evil on yourself. And then let's move back. Because we can. <laughs> because he did the... Um, attack of opportunity anyway. So, Amelia, come back! Len, uh, kill this guy. Just because I don't like him. Thank you. Ow. Can we just not hit my dear Wolchiff? Hiromukes! Why are you still in fear? Oh, we could do this. We hit just these two, but not our guy. Just kill him. Mm -hmm. Well, what else we don't do anything? Kill the dredge. Come on. Thank you. So Len, this one's on his feet. So let's kill him. Thank you. Ah, you're lying down. Can we do a coup de gras when they are lying down? Are they helpless or 
Ist No, it's possible. This works perfectly. This is great. So we just need a lot of of grease. <laughs> so it can come back. Stupid. There is no fear. You don't have to fear anything, pig. Yeah, you run away. So this is uh, one that's left. This one's also left. Can you coup the gra as well? Yeah, but they are not doing that much of damage. So we should let Wolchif do this. And Amber, uh, and Camellia. Let's move there. Let's try to hit him. Let's try not to run through the, um, through the grease. Now oh, this is a full round action. Yep. Okay. Ah, we're also in the grease. No. Let's shoot the one because we're not there. Don't you just die already? Yep. That's right, let's do it like that. Without Vulchif we wouldn't do any damage. Nah, Lan is also doing damage. <laughs> Our pig is not doing damage, it's just there. Can the pig coup de gras? Yeah, it can. Interesting. Interesting. Let's move up there. And like around. Because we really don't want the pig to... ...fall. This was a good fight. Too late for apologies. I mean... With the exception that Wolchiv was in the middle <laughs> and taking all the hits. Okay, Amelia, go go out of there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's just not do anything else. You won't survive me. Mm-hmm. So let's take everything because we won't stay here anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's look at. It's hard to believe that this place recently held a bustling and festive Yeah. <laughs> it's only 20 episodes ago and we were drinking here. Or trying to drink because this was the thing we didn't get. Mm -hmm. 
and there is the end of the map, isn't it? No. Although it looks... Ah, oh, there was the dragon and it was dragged away. There is something to look at, like... It goes down, 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 the ring of fire. A fifth in the earth left by this car is massive life. You and your companions fell through here during the attack. Yeah. Thanks for this information. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> Judging by the size of the blood stain, the body of something truly enormous was dragged over these stones. Terendalev, most likely. <sighs> oh my god. Thanks, Watson. <laughs> For, for this information. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if we'll stay here. We need a rest anyway. Should we go on? Uh, we should. We should at least try to um, save the game. Oh, what's that? Oh. There's some loot. And Count Arendae's servants. Hmm. What's that? Stranger. Okay. Can we? Talk to him? I mean, really? He's green? Ah, we don't have to. Just need to go there. Count Arendae's servant. Thank God. I found someone who isn't fleeing in a panic. There is no one fleeing. They are just running around and killing each other all the time. Didn't you see that? And Crusaders tried to kill Ember. Are you cru crusaders, mercenaries? We are here to restore the truth. True neutrality of everything. I'm a servant of Count Daring Kale Nevis Arendae. My lord's mansion is under attack by demons. The master himself and all his guests are trapped inside. The house guards are nowhere to be found. I managed to escape through a servant's passage to look for help. Why didn't they use the servant's passage? Ah, because it's the servant's pa passage and the aristocracy wouldn't take it. <laughs> Will you help me? The mansion is only a stone's throw away on the next street over. I, I need to sleep. He meets your gate. I shouldn't have gone more farther. Count Arendae? I have seen him a few times before from afar. He looked highly audacious. I confess that he did capture my attention. But that's neither here nor there. We should help him. The gratitude of a rich and influential man can only benefit us. Really? What, what kind of shaman are you? <laughs> I mean... I, I have a totally different um, different view of shamans than you. You are totally not a shaman. <laughs> Succeeded at the knowledge world check. You have heard about the Arendae family before. This wealthy and noble Mandavian dynasty. We gained 9 experience for this knowledge check. Yay. We are rich. Uh, the last surviving member of the family, the young Count Darren has an infamous reputation. He is well known for being a rake and a rogue. Yeah, well, probably then we shouldn't help him. <laughs> Misfortune continues to dog the house of Arendae, I see. Tell me more about what happened. What will I get if I help this count? Alright, I'll help. Okay, Let, let's, let's do the first because we got this because of the success. I'm pretty sure about that. 
You're telling me everyone tried to talk me out of taking the position, uh, taking up the position, saying that it can't have just been bad luck that brought tragedy down on the family and almost killed off the line. But I reasoned that since my master was the only one to survive that calamity, that me meant he must be blessed by fate, or he is the reason why all the rest of them died. <laughs> the powers of good. The pay was nothing to sniff at either. The servant cast his eyes around the street. I should have listened to people smarter than me and gone to work somewhere else, preferably far away from Canabras. Yeah, probably. Later on, you, you're you always wiser. Um, tell me about what happened. Can't Aaron... Oh, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what I can. I was working from dusk till dawn and back to dusk again, serving guests at the Count's banquet. When the other servants came to relieve me at my post, I went to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up and there are demons inside the mansion. I couldn't even reach the Count. The hall and uh, the the monsters had blocked the way. The Count's banquet was still going on. He and his guests were in the great hall, and as far as I could tell, the door to the room was sealed and the demons couldn't get in. I'm begging you, hurry. Wait, they, they feasted on while the demons were outside? Yeah, that's, um, what's it called? I don't know, in English and in German. Uh, I have to think about the words. I don't. Uh, I uh, I don't get it. Stupid. The mansion doors are sturdily built. The demons will have to work hard to get past them. So you still have time to rescue the people inside. Yeah. Well, we we need time because I want to take a rest before I go there. What would I get if I help you? Yeah. If we were talking about the humble working man or a soldier, I'd be the first to say that we ought to help because it's the right thing to do. But some filthy rich aristocrat with a mansion? <laughs> He's not lawful! No. If he wants our service, he can pay for them. I'm trying to imagine how the cave tribes could have survived if we'd had a small group of freeloaders sitting pretty on the inherited wealth and doing nothing while the rest of us starved. Uh, I'm sure the Count will reward you handsomely for any rescue. Yeah, of course. This will not work. Ah, okay, it's just the location on the map. <laughs> so we have time. <laughs> You're better off entering from the next street over through the passage I used to get out. Help, I'm begging you. I hate to think what the Count will do to me if I didn't bring back help. Yeah, of course. So there, up there is a stranger. I think we will now do a stop here. I hope. It. See you next time. Probably we'll go to Arendae Castle. Anyway, um, until then, I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye.